Hello everybody and welcome back to the Chan Chan. In today's video we are going to continue our incredibly weird toy series with another installment of weird toys from the 90s. Cause there was a lot of weird toys during that time. And as always in the comments down below let me know some of your favorite weird toys and if you had any of these toys growing up. Here we go. Number 8. Gooey Louie. The game where you pick Louie's out of Louie's nose. Gross! Released by Goliath Games in the mid-90s, Gooey Louie made his way to toy store shelves and even found himself on TV a couple of times. I mean, we all got yelled at for picking our own noses, and here we were pulling out giant boogers from this weird-looking guy. The premise of this game was to take turns pulling the long green boogers out of Louie's nose. But if you picked the wrong booger that was attached to a special lever, Louie would suffer a horrific death as his brain popped out of his skull. <laughs> There's games that just make sense, like press the teeth down, the jaw will snap down on you, or don't wake up dad because he's gonna wake up. But picking boogers and your brain pops out? Now, Louie doesn't look like the sharpest tool in the shed. In fact, it kind of looks like his brain has already been ejected. But Louie has stood the test of time, and I even found him here at my local Walmart this week. Keep up the good work, Louie. Everybody! <laughs> You just murdered a federal judge! Number 7. The Titanic Bot I'll never let go. No, your eyes and brain do not deceive you. This is not a custom-made toy concocted in someone's basement. This is an actual toy a company by the name of Dragon Toys made, most likely in the late 90s. So it's definitely not a real Transformer. Titanic the movie came out in 1997, telling the tragic tale of the over 1,500 people who died in the freezing cold waters of the Atlantic after the ship struck an iceberg, causing it to sink on her maiden voyage in 1912. James Cameron did an absolutely breathtaking job bringing the story to life. Heck, Celine Dion brought tears to our eyes with her beautiful song, You Could Wear the Heart of the Ocean and Pretend to Be Rose, or You Could Turn the Titanic into a Freaking Robot. <laughs> Who's this toy's target audience? Who the heck gave this project the green light? And just why? Yes, it's a weird and random toy, but first and foremost, it's pretty disrespectful. I mean, like, what's next? Challenger bot? World Trade Center bot? Hindenburg bot? I mean, people died from this tragedy and you made a crappy robot toy out of it? Like, come on. Number six, Susie Snapshot. Snap, snap, and there she goes. Susie Snapshot loves to pose. This uncomfortable toy set was released in 1991 by Galoob, and it's kind of given me Jean Benet vibes. Susie's heart necklace was a sensor that interacted with a pretend camera, and when you clicked the button of the camera, it flashed, activating the necklace sensor, and Susie would strike a pose. Dress her up, comb, and style her beautiful hair. Now she's ready to model for you. And only you! And you'll love sharing the flashy fashion fun with this pretty little playmate. This doll looks like she's 16 and she's wiggling all around in these weird little poses for you to take pictures of her. <laughs> looks like Uncle Rico's got his own pedophile photographer starter kit. Number 5. Water Wigglers Water wigglers, water jigglers, water snakes. I've heard this weird toy called a bunch of things, and I'm not certain when these actually came out, but they were super popular in the 90s. It was really hard to describe this toy to your friends back in the day. <laughs> You'd be like, you know that weird slippery water-filled thing that's hard to catch? These things were a super fun sensory toy to squish and a ton of fun to throw at each other because the way it was weirdly constructed, they had a tendency to just slip out of your hands. Over time, they'd be filled with sparkles, fun colors, and little figurines, but they all follow the same design and still is a very popular toy today that you can find in any dollar store or toy shop that you go to to this day if you look hard enough. It just looked like something you'd find, you know, in a sex shop. And that's actually exactly what some boys used it for, unfortunately. Heck, even in 2017, a 12 year old girl from Wisconsin was suspended from the Trinity Lutheran Church and School for, I quote, selling sex toys these little water snakes to a few friends at school. And one teacher said that many of the students sexualized the use of these toys, which was a disruption to learning that could not be ignored. Oh, you pesky water jigglers getting everybody in trouble. Number four, 
Rollerblade Barbie. Rollerblade Barbie only your skates quicker than Flash. In 1991, Mattel thought they hit a home run with the Rollerblade Barbie, but little did they know, the team behind this project should have just stayed home. Rollerblade Barbie came with some fun accessories like a fanny pack, headband, knee pads, and of course she came with a pair of rollerblades. But these were no ordinary rollerblades. They were literally a pair of lighters. The skates had a little wheel which was basically equivalent to the one found in cigarette lighters. And when Barbie cruised over a flat surface, sparks would shoot out of her skates which could potentially ignite flammable material nearby. I like how Barbie doesn't even care that like her feet are basically on fire. There is actually a newspaper article from the 90s accounting for one of these incidents. A girl was playing beauty shop with her four-year-old brother and after spraying him with hairspray, they began to play with her new rollerblade Barbie and the girl innocently ran the rollerblade Barbie across her brother's butt, which immediately ignited his clothes. And of course, Mattel ceased production and recalled rollerblade Barbie. People actually tested this experiment out in the 90s and even now on YouTube you can find people doing the same experiment with hairspray and rollerblade Barbie. Oh my god. Rollerblade Barbie. Number three, Jibba Jabber. No, I'm not talking about this Jibba Jabber. Quit your Jibba Jabber. You ain't hurt. You pathetic. I'm talking about this Jibba Jabber. <laughs> Jibba Jabber is a Made by the Ertl Toy Company in the mid-90s, the purpose of these toys were to relieve stress by shaking around, strangling, and wringing these soft little-bodied dolls, whose head mechanism emitted this super annoying sound like a cartoon woman being strangled. The dolls were aimed at adults as a gag gift. Of course, adults didn't exclusively buy them to relieve their stress, they made their way into the hands of children too. But soon the company behind Jibba Jabbers was alerted to shaken baby syndrome, in which a baby is shaken so violently they suffer major head trauma. But regardless, the company soon began placing an insert into Jibber Jabber packaging, explaining that the Jibba Jabber is just for fun, and that shaking actual babies and young children is a lethal form of child child abuse. The pamphlet also went on to list several ways to react positively to a child rather than resort to violence. <laughs> Number 2. Savage Mondo Blitzers Savage Mondo Blitzers! 48 monstrously maniacal mutants on wheels! They're lean, mean, and obscene! Skateboards and skateboarding toys were a very hot trend in kids' toys back in the day, and Kenner added to that skateboard cool factor with some controversy. The 1991 Mondo Blitzers by Kenner stirred up a few complaints by parents and teachers, with their violent and offensive figures targeted towards boys with things like meat cleavers, knives, guns, and bombs. The line consisted of about 40 one and a half inch characters attached to a skateboard from different gangs like the butt kickers, the chunk blowers, skull crushers, and the concrete breakfast gang. Brains not included and the puke shooters were two gangs that were advertised but not released in the US. We've never, never let, let our kids have those things. <laughs> Apart from belonging to a gang, each skateboarder had their own personality like barf bucket, night to dismember, and shark bait. A boycott was called for against Kenner by concerned parents and teachers who were absolutely offended by the toys which were advertised to young children. And Kenner began to hear similar stories from across the country. So in response, Kenner said they would change some of the names of the characters to make them less offensive or violent. But it was too little too late for the Savage Mondo Blitzers and the line was discontinued in 1992. And number one, Harry Hurlers. The Madball craze started in 1985 with a series of foam balls featuring horrifically grotesque and detailed faces. Kids liked gross, kids liked weird, and best of all, you could throw these at your younger sibling as hard as you possibly could. Many knockoffs tried to copy the Madball formula with these gross faced balls, but one such attempt in particular deserves a standing ovation. 1992's Harry Hurlers by Cataco or Kadako, or Kataso. I'm sure it's Kataco. The hairy balls you hurl. Hurl him, catch him, hit him, wear him, collect him, wear him. What the heck does that mean, wear him? Oh, they probably have like a little clip 
or something on them that you can like clip them onto your backpack, but who the heck would want this on their backpack? What set these guys apart from Mad Balls was their long nine inch ponytail sprouting from their head, giving them an almost shrunken head-like appearance. Kids could now finally throw some hairy balls at each other. But the sculpts and colors on these were actually pretty neat, and the line had some interesting characters like Sergeant Hair Raid, Dan Druff, Dog Pile, Doc Hairline Fracture, Buzzhead, and Moldy Locks. The back of Moldy Locks's package reads, in your worst nightmare, your first blind date with a face uglier than dog food and all the personality of a rock. So that is my list, everyone. Hope you enjoyed it. And remember to leave me in the comments down below some of your favorite weird toys or if you had any of these toys growing up. So please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I come up with new videos every week. Come check me out on social media and help support the channel on Patreon. So thank you all so much for watching and stay legendary. Pew, pew.